in previous lesson we have obtained to what the final value of the R error signal in here, just like this one. Okay. For this case, uh, we generate the what the uh, step ramp and parabolic input for the what the state state error formula. Okay. We must obtain it. <coughs> for the step input. Rs must be used to what the one to one by s, okay? And then we can write that the uh, e infinity value in time, the limit as going to zero s times one plus g s. But in this case, we have the Rs signal in here with terms of what the one divided by s, okay? And then we will get the what the one divided by 1 plus limit s going to 0 gs can be used for the what? <coughs> for the step input signal because the s is only dependent on the what the gs function in here. Okay? We can write it just like this one. And so, also we have the another waveform in here named with the what? The ramp input. Using the rs value at what the 1 divided by s square and then we can write that the e infinity value limit s going to 0 s times 1 plus g s and 1 divided by s square should be put in here okay and then the limit s going to 0 which is equal to the what the one divided by s plus s g s okay or the s is going to what the zero and then we can write that the one divided by limit s is going to zero s g s right <coughs> this is the ramp formula for the what for R cases and also we have the parabolic input in here just like the what the RS 1 divided by S <coughs> over 3 and then we can write that the e infinity value is equal to what the limit s going to zero s one divided by s over three plus g s and so we have the what the limit s going to zero one divided by s square plus s square g s and then we can equalize these terms into the what the one divided by the limit s going to zero s square times g s. Okay. <coughs> These are the what the derivation of the state state error formula for a given plant or g s in transfer function domain. Okay. We have three input signals but uh, you can use the what the sinus and cosinus input in here but uh, this signal are basics for the what the position velocity and acceleration which are given in the real world defined with what the Newton's law okay and so this three test can be applied to what to your system or design or control system in order to obtain to what the final values for the state state error through the what the control operation okay so we can solve the example in here just like this one find the ss <coughs> error state state error for rs which is equal to 5 divided by s 5 s square and 10 s over 2 
Okay. So we have two systems in here, just like this one. The RS plus minus, which is the unity feedback system in here, the CS, and we have drop the no distance. We have five divided by s plus five. Okay, and we have the another system in here, just like this one, the R S plus minus. And right, what the five divided by s s plus five. We have one integrator term in here, or the zero in the what in the pool. Okay. And CS can be given in here, and this is also unity feedback. Okay, <coughs> so <coughs> firstly, in order to solve this problem, just remember that this is the GS for this function, and so the transfer function of these terms is equal to what the G plus G plus 5, right? And also, GS is given with the same form, it is the closed loop transfer function. Okay, so <clears throat> how can we write these terms? These terms is equal to the what? The 5 s plus 5, 1, 5 s plus 5, which is equal to the what? The 5 divided by with the what? The s plus 10. Okay, in this case, we have also a 5 s s plus 5. Divide by 1 plus 5 s s plus 5, which is equal to the what these terms remove to each other, and so the 5 divided by s squared plus 5 s plus 5. Okay, this is the simple term for the what for the closed loop transfer function, but we can analyze the sig signal or the system. For a given what the GS in here using the final value theorem. Okay? <clears throat> so in the solution coming from the what the A for 5S R S <clears throat> okay E infinity value which is equal to what the 5 divided by 1 plus limit s going to 0 value g s right and so if we take the 0 value in here just like this one and so this the 0 this yields the what the 5 divided by 5 and then we have the 5 divided by 1 plus 1 2 okay for a given what for a given input signal as the what the units just remember that this is the closed loop function we should add one more term in here five times s in here in order to analyze the r system in here and so the four five s square r s which is given in what the e infinity values in here 5 divided by limit s going to 0 and s g s which is equals to what the 5 and so if you multiply with the s this term in here and then the, this s adds the 0 and the upper term or the denominator to what to 0 and so this is zero and so this yields us to what the infinity value for this system which means that if we apply the water bram signal in here to the system and then we will have at the final value of the cs infinity value okay <coughs> or 10 s over 3 r s can be applied in here for the parabolic input and then we will have the 10 
and the limit is going to zero as square times integers is creating also what the 10 and so this yields to what the zero term here just like this one and so we have the infinite value at the what at the final value term okay <coughs> Do you understand uh, this procedure in here, guys? Why the R signal going to the what to the infinity value? <coughs> Any question? <coughs> okay. If there is no question, for the B part, we have different results. Okay? Because in the first case RS and RS, this is the unit step, this is the ramp, this is the parabolic input, and the e infinity values can be calculated with what the 5 divided by 1 plus the limit as going to 0 TS in here, just like this one, and so the 5 divided by plus 1 plus gs gs is given in here just say that this the s returns to the what the s plus 5 5 but the, we have the one pole in here just like this one this is the 0 which means that 5 divided by 0 gives us the infinity value which means that this is going to 0 at what at the t going to what the infinity value and so this is the first case. In the second case, we will apply the what the ramp signal in here. And so the e infinity value is equal to the what the pi divided by limit s going to zero s g s. Okay. And so we have the five value in here, just like this one. But in this case, s times s removes the this gs terms, and so we apply the s is equal to zero, and then we have the one value in here, and so we have the at the final case we have the five steady state, state error in here. <coughs> okay. In the third case, e infinity values is equal to the what the limit is going to zero value 10 s square gs right this is our solution and so this is the 10 in the s square we remove the one pole in here and the another part coming from the what the 5 times s in here and so this to zero and so this yields us for due to what the zeros creates to zero and so we have the infinity value at what at the parabolic inputs okay what's the difference between two of these systems we have one another pole in here just like this one and so this pole removes the what the position error at the infinity value we have constant error value for a given ramp function, but the parabola input creates what the infinity error value in here. In that case, assume that if we add the one more pole in here, for example, s squared times s plus 5, this yields the zero value, this yields the zero value, and the parabolic input, we have the constant value. If we add the one more pole, and so this three of them to what and going to what going to zero, okay? And so, in order to remove the steady state error, and then we can say that if we apply the integrator to the plant, and so we can remove the steady state error which is known as the integral controller part of the PID controller. This is coming from the what, the this sort of interpretations. Okay? And so, these are in the literature, in the control literature,
to define as the static error constant <coughs> like AP is the position error limit as going to 0 GS and AB velocity error constant in here just like this one limit as going to 0 S GS and also KA acceleration constant limit as going to 0 S square times GS okay <coughs> This is the static error constant for the position, for the velocity, for the what the acceleration ratio. And so ESS terms can be interpreted by 1 divided by 1 plus kp. For the velocity input, 1 divided by kp. For the acceleration input, ESS is equal to what the 1 divided by k. Okay? You can easily calculate the what the state state error rate for a given input and output based on this information. Okay, this is the position, <coughs> this is the velocity, this is the acceleration price. <coughs> Any question? Okay, so we have another example in here, just like this one. Find the value of k so that there is 10% error in steady state for a given what the system just like this one the rs is equal to what the plus minus and so we have the transfer function in here just like this one k s plus 5 and divided by s s plus 6 s plus 7 s plus 8 okay <coughs> And so we can generate the CS and also we can give this terms. Okay? <coughs> so, in this case, we need to focus on for the what the for 10% error in SS, which means that the R case we have the 0.1 error in the steady state. But we can define the what the static error constants, but the which one of them should be used to define this error case. Just remember that in this case, for example, we don't have the any integrator part in here, and we have the position constant values in here, just like this one. The other terms going to what the infinite value. But in the second case, we have the s times s plus five. We have one point with a zero in here and so we can create the what the system in the what in the velocity form the other terms is zero and infinity value which means that if we have the one pole in here and so we must use the what My computer. My computer is frozen. So, and so, <clears throat> if we have one zero in here, just like this one. And so, we need to apply the what to velocity form. 
if we have the for example s square 2 0 at the poles in here and then we should apply the what acceleration form of the static area constant because we need to find out the constant value for the static area which means that the R solutions coming from the what the E does the infinity value 1 divided by KB KB velocity static error cost which must be equal to what the 0 dot 1 okay and therefore KB must be equal to what the 10 okay and so this must be equalized with what the limit is going to 0 value as g s and k times 5 6 7 a because this s removes the other terms in here due to this factor and so the s is assigned with the zero value and then k times 5 6 7 a right and so if you calculate this k value in here just like this one the k yields us the 672 value for the what for a given static velocity error constant if we apply the what the unit step signal in here we will have always zero at the steady state value because we have the one integrator in here but if we apply the ram signal in here and then we will get what the zero dot one value between the output and the input signal in here just like this one if we apply the acceleration or the parabolic input to this unity feedback signal and then we will get the infinity error value at the end of the time okay any question about these things <clears throat> Did you understand what I'm saying in here, guys? Because this is important. Uh, 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 please uh, write the chat. Uh, I cannot hear you. Please also. read section 7.5 in Nisha book okay for the state state error for disturbance case okay it's also important parameter okay and now we must deal with another topics for this day as the what the section 3 the state state error for states it's another important topics about the distance because up to now we have dealt with the transfer function of the R system but maybe we should use or we may use the state space representation okay so for single input output system we can write what the x dot is equal to the a x plus b times r okay this is a reference equal and y is equal to what the c times x okay and so how can we manipulate these terms into the what into the state state error values in here we can just take the laplace transform and gives us <clears throat> to what the ES 
or s minus y s right this is the arc of the discipline with the word y s is equal to the r s times t s okay this t s coming from to the what to the r kills loop function just remember that so how can we combine these terms the e s equals to what the r s one t s just remember that because the y s is replaced with the this one and so we can use the denomination and then just remember the tf solution for the state space so we get the what the e s r s 1 minus c times s i minus a b right this are the solution or this is coming from to the what to the state space and so if we apply the final value term in here we can get what the limit is going to zero s e s can be written as to what the limit is zero s r s multiplied with what the one c s i minus a over minus one times b okay this is the R solution for the state space system in here, just like this one. Okay, <clears throat> so how can we utilize these terms? Normally, for example, if you have the x in here, just like this one, the 4a 0 1 minus 2 and minus 3. And b can be assigned to 0, 1, and y can be assigned to 1 and 0, okay? And the point e s s. The problem is that, okay? So, we just use the what the limit as the what the 0 s e s for the state space, okay? And then we can generate the what the limit as in 0 value s r s times 1 minus the utilization of this formula generates to what to this terms 1 divided by s square 3s plus 2 okay and so if we have this combination limit as going to 0 s r s times s square plus 3s1 because we can collect the whole terms in here just like this one and s square 3s plus 2 okay and then this terms generates this results but what's the rs for example if you want to use the unit step signal in here just like this one we can calculate the signals as the limit is going to 0, s, 1 divided by s, and s square plus 3s plus 1, and s square plus 3s plus 2. Okay? And so this yields us, this removes the other terms, this removes the distance, and so we will have the 1 divided by 2 at these nominations. Okay? This is how we can generate the what R results based on what this signal formation. Okay? Any question? If there's no question, and then we will take the 10 minutes break and then we will create the method example session about the steady state error signals based on the what based on the 
are examples written in the PowerPoint file. Okay. We will see at what the one for guys.